The Robot Piano 1 Million RP1M dataset is a large-scale motion dataset for piano playing with bimanual dexterous robot hands. It includes over 1 million expert trajectories collected by approximately 2,000 reinforcement learning specialist agents. To create this dataset, the authors formulate finger placement as an optimal transport problem, allowing the robot hands to play piano in an energy-efficient way and eliminating the need for human annotated fingering labels. This method enables the generation of vast amounts of robot piano data and allows variations in the embodiment, such as robots with four fingers only. The RP1M dataset facilitates research on dexterous robot hands and contributes to the development of more effective imitation learning approaches. By using RP1M, existing imitation learning approaches can reach new state-of-the-art results in motion synthesis on novel music pieces due to scaling with RP1M. This dataset is essential for training and testing imitation learning approaches at scale, providing a foundation for future research on dexterous robot hands. In addition to the dataset, the authors also benchmark various approaches to robot piano playing. They show that by leveraging RP1M, existing imitation learning approaches can achieve state-of-the-art performance in terms of generalization capabilities in multi-song piano play. This work contributes to the advancement of dexterous robot hands and imitation learning techniques, enabling robots to achieve human-level dexterity in various tasks. In terms of related work, the research on dexterous robot hands aims to replicate the dexterity of human hands with robots. Many previous works use planning to compute a trajectory followed by a controller, requiring an accurate model of the robot hand. Closed-loop approaches have been developed by incorporating sensor feedback, which also require an accurate model of the robot hand. However, due to the difficulty of modeling the dynamics of the dexterous robot hand, recent methods resort to learning-based approaches, especially reinforcement learning, which has achieved huge success in both manipulation and dynamic tasks. The paper discusses the development of a novel method for training a specialist piano playing agent without human fingering labels, utilizing reinforcement learning, RL, to control bimanual dexterous robot hands. It introduces the RP1M dataset, which includes approximately 1 million expert trajectories for robot piano playing, covering around 2,000 pieces of music. This dataset is the first large-scale dataset of dynamic, bimanual manipulation with dexterous robot hands. The task setup is based on the robo-pianist environment, featuring a full-size keyboard with 88 keys driven by linear springs, two shadow robot hands, and a pseudo-sustain pedal. Sheet music is represented by Musical Instrument Digital Interface, MIDI, transcription, where each time step in the MIDI file specifies which piano keys to press, active keys. The goal of a piano playing agent is to press active keys and avoid inactive keys under space and time constraints, requiring coordination between fingers to place them properly in a highly dynamic scenario. To address the hard exploration problem posed by sparse rewards, the original Robo Pianist RL adds dense reward signals using human fingering labels. However, the proposed method aims to lift the requirement of human fingering by minimizing the moving distances of fingers. This is achieved by defining the overall moving cost as the sum of the Euclidean distances between the current fingertip positions and the desired positions. The reward function includes a key pressing reward, a penalty term for pressing inactive keys, and a penalty term for moving fingers excessively. The performance of the specialist RL agent is analyzed, showing that the agent can learn to play complex pieces without human fingering labels. The learned fingering is also analyzed, demonstrating that the agent can automatically discover appropriate fingering strategies. The RP1M dataset provides a valuable resource for future research on dexterous robot hands, enabling the training of agents that can perform complex bimanual manipulation tasks efficiently. The paper presents a novel approach to improve the performance of dexterous robot hands in playing the piano. It introduces an optimal transport, OT, method for finger placement, which significantly enhances the learning process of the robot hands. The proposed method is compatible with various embodiments and can adapt to different robot morphologies. The authors first define the problem as an optimal transport problem, where they aim to minimize the cumulative moving distance between fingers and target keys. 
This is achieved by solving an optimization problem using a modified jonker volganant algorithm. The reward function for the reinforcement learning, RL, agent is based on the OTBASED finger placement, encouraging the agent to move fingers close to the keys. The performance of the specialist RL agents is evaluated in the paper. The results show that the proposed OTBASED finger placement helps in learning and improves the performance of the robot hands. In comparison to RoboPianist RL, which includes human fingering in its inputs and reward function, the OT method achieves similar performance without any human annotated fingering. The baseline without fingering information performs poorly, indicating the importance of fingering information in the learning process. The authors also analyze the fingering discovered by the agent and compare it with human annotations. They find that the agent discovers different fingering compared to humans, but still accurately presses the active keys. This demonstrates the adaptability of the OT method to different embodiments, as shown in the experiment with a four-finger robot hand. Finally, the paper introduces the RP1M dataset, a large-scale motion dataset for piano playing. This dataset includes approximately 1 million expert trajectories covering about 2,000 musical pieces. Each musical piece is trained with an individual drock agent for 8 million environment steps, and 500 expert trajectories are collected for each piece. The dataset is designed to facilitate research on dexterous robot hands and can be used to improve the learning of piano playing tasks. In this research, we introduce a large scale motion dataset for piano playing, named RP1M, which includes 1 million expert trajectories for playing 2,000 musical pieces. To collect such a diverse dataset, we propose a novel automatic fingering annotation approach based on optimal transport, lifting the need for human annotated fingering. On single songs, our method matches the baselines with human annotated fingering and can be adopted across different embodiments. We also benchmark various imitation learning approaches for multi-song playing and report new state-of-the-art results in motion synthesis for novel music pieces identifying the gap to achieving human-level piano playing ability. The RP1M dataset, with its scale and quality, forms a solid step towards empowering robots with human-level dexterity. The research presented on pages 9 and 10 focuses on dexterous manipulation, particularly in hand manipulation. It acknowledges the support of various institutions and references numerous studies in the field. The authors thank the Max Planck Institute for Intelligent Systems and the Research Council of Finland for their funding. They also acknowledge the insightful discussions with Yuxin Hu and Wenyan Yang. The references listed include a variety of studies on dexterous manipulation, such as learning dexterous in-hand manipulation, high acceleration reinforcement learning for real-world juggling, and learning to play table tennis from scratch. The summary highlights the significance of these studies in advancing the field of dexterous manipulation, particularly in terms of learning complex tasks through reinforcement learning and imitation. The research paper discusses the development of a robotic hand capable of playing the piano with high precision and dexterity, utilizing reinforcement learning and advanced control algorithms. It highlights the importance of dexterous manipulation in robotics emphasizing the need for efficient and effective control strategies for complex tasks such as piano playing. The authors present a comprehensive overview of existing literature on robotic hands and piano playing robots, including various control methods and reinforcement learning techniques. They emphasize the significance of understanding the relationship between finger movements and sound quality, as well as the role of tactile feedback in enhancing the robot's performance. The paper also explores different approaches to bimanual manipulation, which is crucial for tasks requiring coordination between two hands. It discusses various datasets available for reinforcement learning, including those specifically designed for robotic dexterous manipulation tasks. In terms of technical details, the authors describe the use of algorithms like Deep Mind Control Suite and DexPoint to optimize finger movements and improve overall performance. They also mention the importance of considering factors like finger independence, finger strength, and finger coordination in designing the robotic hand. Moreover, the paper touches upon the challenges associated with symmetrical transfer, where the robot learns in a simulated environment but needs to adapt to real-world scenarios. This issue is addressed through the use of domain randomization and other techniques that enhance the robot's adaptability. 
Finally, the authors discuss the potential applications of such a robotic hand, ranging from entertainment to therapy, and highlight the need for further research in this area to achieve human-like dexterity and precision. The pages discuss various research papers focusing on machine learning and artificial intelligence, particularly in the areas of representation learning, high-resolution image synthesis, video diffusion models, and robotics. They highlight novel ideas, significant findings, and important arguments presented in these papers. The summary covers key terms, concepts, and methodologies with precision, detailing equations, algorithms, and mathematical concepts where necessary. It also summarizes information from figures, tables, and graphs efficiently, connecting the content of these two pages to show the flow of ideas. The limitations, assumptions, and future work discussed in the papers are also addressed. The summary maintains a highly technical and professional tone suitable for expert researchers and stakeholders. The research paper discusses the development of a robotic piano player, focusing on its reinforcement learning, RL, agents' hyperparameters and multitask benchmarking details. The authors present a comprehensive comparison between two RL agents, DROC and PPO with the MJX implementation of the robo-pianist environment. The PPO plus MJX agent is faster but has a worse performance than DROC, leading to the choice of DROC with the CPU version robo-pianist environment for training. The paper also explores multitask training and evaluation, introducing baseline methods such as behavior cloning, BC. BC is a simple method that learns a policy by using supervised learning on observation action pairs from expert demonstrations. It employs a multi-layer perceptron, MLP as the policy network, which learns to replicate expert behavior by minimizing the mean squared error, MSE, between predicted and actual expert actions. However, BC tends to perform poorly in generalizing to unseen states from the expert demonstrations. The authors evaluate three MLP models with varying hidden dimensions, 256, 1024, and 4096. The first two models feature three layers while the model with 4096 hidden dimensions is designed with six layers. The hyperparameters for the BC model include a batch size of 256, an optimizer of atom, a learning rate of 3E4, a JELU activation function, training steps of 1M, and observation, prediction, and action horizons of 1. In conclusion, the paper presents a detailed analysis of the development of a robotic piano player emphasizing the importance of selecting appropriate RL agents and baseline methods for multitask training. The use of DROC with the CPU version robo-pianist environment and the evaluation of BC models with varying hidden dimensions contribute to the advancement of robotic dexterity in complex tasks like playing the piano. The research discusses various methods for implicit behavioral cloning in robotics, focusing on IBC, BCRNN, and diffusion policy. IBC adopts a conditional energy-based modeling approach, utilizing the InfoNCE loss, showing improved generalization over traditional BC. BCRNN incorporates a recurrent neural network to capture past observations, performing well in the RoboMimic paper. The diffusion policy uses a conditional diffusion model to model action distributions, conditioning on states and noise vectors. The training and evaluation processes involve different sizes of expert data and various musical pieces, including in-distribution, easy-out-of-distribution, and hard-out-of-distribution songs. The goal is to develop a generalist agent capable of playing the piano under various conditions, assessing multitasking abilities and zero-shot generalization capabilities. Here is a combined summary of pages 19 and 20 of the research paper. The authors present two tables, 10 and 11 which categorize out-of-distribution songs for the robo-pianist model. Table 10 consists of easy out-of-distribution songs, including Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and C Major Chord Progression Two Hands, whereas Table 11 comprises hard out-of-distribution songs, such as Akamenko Theodore O Coin Du Fu Opus 28 and Agnew Roy Two Piano Pieces. These songs are used to evaluate the model's performance on unseen data. The authors then introduce the concept of score-informed generative models, which leverage symbolic music representation to generate high-quality music. They propose a novel approach, RoboPianist, which integrates a symbolic music parser with a generative model to produce coherent and structured music. 
The model consists of three components, a music parser, a score encoder, and a generation module. The music parser converts musical scores into a symbolic representation, which is then fed into the score encoder to extract relevant features. The generation module, based on a hierarchical sequence-to-sequence -sequence architecture, generates music sequences conditioned on the encoded score features. The authors employ a combination of maximum likelihood estimation and adversarial training to optimize the model. The proposed approach is evaluated on a range of music pieces, including those from the easy and hard out of distribution categories. The results demonstrate that Robo Pianist outperforms baseline models in terms of music quality and structure. Furthermore, the authors analyze the model's ability to generalize to unseen songs and composers, highlighting its potential for music creation and augmentation. The limitations of the study include the reliance on symbolic music representation, which may not capture the full complexity of music, and the need for further evaluation on more diverse music datasets. Future work involves exploring alternative music representations and incorporating additional musical attributes, such as tempo and dynamics, into the generation process.